Oh, baby, the playoffs. They've arrived. Look at what we found in a real game one scenario across the board on Saturday. Not a bad day for us, I may say. And we're right back with four more games. Let's get to it. You can be the MVP, you know, without dropping 50 every single game. Just saying. That's all. All right, we got four games to get to. Thumbs up, subscribe, please. Let's dive into this. See what we can get into here with the Lakers and Grizzlies game. Here comes Memphis. And I think we just saw a scenario in Golden State and Sacramento where you have a lot of people drinking some tea right now. Mm. That felt good. Betting on Sacramento, rooting for Sacramento. It seems like the Warriors are the enemy to state right now. That's fine. Think about the Lakers, poor man's version, right? The Lakers scrapped just to get here. And there isn't this overwhelming sense of, okay, now it begins. Begins for what? You've got LeBron on that team, but that, you know you don't have five other guys like the Golden State Warriors, including coach, mind you, who can come and say, look, now we know what it takes to get back up there. The Grizzlies, people are going to just spend so much time all day until 3 o'clock Eastern talking about the Grizzlies' inexperience and all the things that happened off the floor. Granted, the Kings didn't have any of that bullshit nonsense that was happening off the floor, but you still had a sense of we belong, and you're going to get that with Memphis. Three and a half? I'll lay that all day at home against the L.A. Lakers. Let's lock it up. Lock it up. There's not going to be any trouble up front. It's not going to be Anthony Davis's game to lose. We heard that nonsense in the play and not stuff, and look what happened. He shriveled. LeBron simply can't beat teams game in and game out. And they may have a pretty good matchup overall and series, etc. but we said the same thing about the Warriors. This might be the only game Memphis wins in hindsight in this series. I doubt it. But they're going to win this game and they'll win it by a cover. Three and a half. I'll take that. Minus three and a half. Lock. Now, let's move to Milwaukee. Bucks laying nine against Miami. Miami isn't tired. Miami isn't uh, patting themselves on the back. Miami isn't champagne celebrating anything. Miami knows, like Jimmy Butler leading this team, this is a long haul. This is absolutely a long haul. Now, I think one of two things can happen here, right? The Bucks blow the heat out and score just enough points that they essentially carry this total on themselves. Or we see what I think is a little more expected right now. And that's both teams playing to a strong defensive hold here. That would be me. Both teams pushing and controlling. You're going to see just a slugfest. The basketball equivalent of one. Now, there's fouls, clock stopping. I understand that. But I also think this is closer. And that the closer this game is, the better it stays under 218 and a half. Now, this completely goes against the regular season strategy we had, which is if you find a Miami total that's south of 221, you go over it in that range, right? Like if it's 209, you're like, what the hell's going on? You know, you're going to go over it in general, unless there's an issue there. Chicago was one that we stayed away because the play-in is different. The playoffs are different. I like the under 218 and a half. More starters, more deliberate possessions, less of a depth, uh, especially for Miami as things continue to tighten up on rotation. I don't think you're, and, and look, Milwaukee is a former champion, right? Like, I don't think you expend all your energy Game one. Sixers, credit them. They're not champions, but credit them for recognizing that too in game one on Saturday. You seen the MVP? Have you seen this? Bet a dollar, get 200 right back onto your Bet 365 account. Sign up, deposit 10. That's all. New Jersey, Ohio, Colorado, Virginia. 21 or older, gambling problem, call 1 800 Gambler. Sign up, deposit 10 bucks. Bet a dollar on anything, you get 200 right back. Sounds pretty easy, right? I had an eight-leg parlay going 
where all I needed was Phoenix to win was that's it. And I cashed out after seven legs. Now it's probably not plus CV, all the other things, whatever, but it's you know, like 10 bucks for 1800 or so. So I cashed out. I don't trust the second half in this game. I just don't, I don't know what to expect. Like the thing about the Phoenix suns clearly for me, and I think for a lot of you is that we don't know what they are. We don't Kevin Durant has barely played to be honest. And as much of a talent as he is, and as special of a talent as he is, this isn't Golden State. This isn't an already well-oiled machine that you can just drop anybody in and say, oh, it's okay, we'll be fine. Phoenix is better than the Clippers, don't get me wrong. Like, LA, it's, it's not as tight, or I should say this, it's not as wide of a gap as the seven and a half point spread winning the game. I don't think so at all. I'm also not confident enough because of the injuries and the absences. I'm also not confident enough to take anything with the clip. The easier play for me is to work around my betting insecurities in this game. And my two biggest betting insecurities in this game are, I don't know what the Phoenix Suns are. And that's not a bad thing. I, they could be the best team on the planet by a mile in the playoffs. And then we'll see. All right, well, Kevin Durant coming, blah, blah. They also, they could have let down in them. Like, I don't know what they are. They are an enigma wrapped in a riddle wrapped in a wrap. I go wheat. Flour? It's fine. I like the wheat. I don't like the sun-dried tomato, though. I'm kind of anti. Like, I don't need flavor in the wrap. Flavor's coming inside the wrap, right? It's like ketchup. Well, that's a different story. Hey, man. Suns first half, that's the play. Suns first half spread, that's the play. You even want to push the Suns second quarter money line, something like that, that's fine. But I'm going to lock up as we lock up one and one more game here. The Phoenix Suns laying points in the first half. It's just the easiest play for me here. I know that the Clippers are going to fight. I know that the Clippers are not just going to come in, but better chance to catch them a little off down than in the first half, I think, than whatever volatility there is in the second half. Sun playing points in the first half. Lock it up. Nuggets, Wolves. I I still don't trust Minnesota. I don't. I don't. They knocked off a team that nobody had there and all this other stuff about house money, etc. Great, great. This does feel like a team that would rest on its laurels. It does. This feels like a team that would champagne celebrate a play-in game. And mean it, by the way. Like, yeah, we got that. We, yeah, we, we. Something about Denver, where they've been royally discounted. And at the same time, <laughs> as much as all this Embiid stuff has happened, right? Where... The MVP and, and Jokic has headlined this. Denver's a really good team. And I don't know like what Philadelphia can be with Milwaukee and Boston. And we'll get deep because I think Denver's it's just expected, right? Rightfully so. But at home, game one, I'll lay the full. Minnesota, it's not that they're tired. This is just not easy. To come off a game like that, a motion like that. That's why Miami, you know, I think the total is a better target there. But this stuff is just not easy. And you look at now where the matchup is. You've got power up front for Minnesota. But you also have one of the best ever. Who can do whatever he needs to do to get around not one but two guys. And I think that's going to be a major issue when Minnesota realizes, wait a second. It's like bringing in a D back to stop the wide out and the wide out torches you for a buck 50. Maybe not to that extent, but I'll lay the nine and a half with the nuggets. I know crazy, belligerent, wild. What are you doing? Seven and a half. Pardon me. Oof. Don't do an alt line. Seven and a half with the nuggets. Lock it up. All right. Thumbs up. Subscribe. Appreciate you big time. We're back next week. At least I am. Lindy's got you during the week. We'll see you.